the rest of the seniors, they uh, received you? They actually uh, made, made me comfortable in the dressing room. Uh, I was the best batsman in the uh, America's Cup, the 19 tournament, leading up to that uh, match. So that, that's why I got the call up early. Uh, other than that, uh, we, we still have a few of the guys, senior guys, playing with me, and uh, we still joke around about that day where mm -hmm. I made my first day. Well, what was your, uh, well, you said you, you, you had the idols, the likes of Sanat Jaya, Surya, Kumar, Sangakkar, but who was your true aspiration? Uh, true aspiration would be my father. He was, uh, he was my coach, and I, told, I mentioned that he, play, he played cricket here as well. So he, he um, always encouraged me through the tough patches, which you always need as a, as a young cricketer or any athlete. So that helped me and um, made me want want more for myself in, in terms of achieving mm -hmm. cricket. Well, when you, when you have your father as your coach, is it easy to work with or difficult? Uh, both. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's tough to um, see the father coach sort of gap. You have to realize when you step on the field. Because he will have more authority on you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you have to respect him as a coach first and um, forget the father part. And um, play the, after you play the game, then go back to the regular role. Well, also, um, going back to your uh, T20 qualifiers, World Cup qualifiers, you did really well there. You scored two half centuries and you won two man of the match awards. Uh, tell us about that and uh, how was your innings were like and uh, how how tough was your competition and uh, the and winning the man of the match award. I actually had uh, two good knocks, a 90 yard and a 80 yard in the first round of the qualifier, which led us to the sixth place finish. I felt very good in that tournament. Uh, I finished in among the top 10 run getters in the qualifier. Uh, so it was pretty good, went well. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this time around it's the same thing. <laughs> well, you said like you got 90 and 80. Do you still blame yourself for not getting that 100? Yeah, I uh, actually do. A few of my friends still recall it and uh, made sure I remember it when I come back. <laughs> uh, I had a few overs left in the match and it's mm -hmm. uh, very unique to get a 100 in a 2020 match. It's not uh, Chris Gale doesn't appear out of everywhere, right? So it's, yeah. <laughs> it's unique. <laughs> Um, well, then uh, going back to coming back to the World Cup, uh, you were playing against Ireland. Well, by that time, comparing Canada, Ireland was pretty good actually. And uh, well, you managed to score, and you 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 were the man of the match. Just tell us about that game. Actually, at that time, uh, Ireland was one of the stronger teams coming back, coming from uh, the 2007 World Cup, where they beat Pakistan mm -hmm. and made to the Super Eights, I believe. So uh, they were. It was a home series against Ireland. I got called back. Uh, from Sri Lanka, I didn't get to uh, be part of the Chilam uh, the champion team. Mm -hmm. uh, went back and uh, had, a, had a good series. Uh, we were chasing 180 odd in a DL uh, inter interrupted match, uh, and I made about 70 odd, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, with a partnership with Ashish Bagai, our captain, won the, uh, brought the game. Mm -hmm. to so that would have been really unique, uh, beating Ireland as well, and you winning the man of the match. Um, well, also the recently concluded uh, games you scored uh, again uh, 155, then again the second innings is 44. Well, I'm sure like you know, it's completely different format uh, going from uh, ODI and T20 to uh, first class cricket. Um, well, you were saying how you adapt, but then again, when you go into the, walk into the middle of that park and uh, trying to be there without losing the wicket, how tough it is? It's, uh, it's much tougher with the red ball. Uh, it's, it's not just a change in colour, it, it does different movements and it's, it seems to seam and swing around a bit, bit for a bit longer than the white ball. Mm -hmm. So it takes a much more concentration, which is why the five-day format is called test cricket. It's yeah. a real test in, uh, in the game of cricket. So uh, I actually struggled till then uh, to make a, make a big con contribution to the team in, in the red ball format, the four-day competition. And uh, I felt very, very good to uh, have accomplished, well, got, got my first 100 for the national team. Mm -hmm. And also you managed to score 44 not out, if I'm not mistaken, the second innings. That was more icing on the cake, <laughs> as we were only chasing about 60 odd uh, to finish off the game. So it felt good, as I was already confident from the first inning. Yeah. Uh, well, if, if you look at uh, most of your performance, uh, you have scored quite well and comfortably uh, when you're playing in Canada. Um, 
Well, that is what your stats says, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so uh, basically, I think, um, well, you have settled in very well to the conditions and uh, adapted uh, very well to the uh, weather and the system there. Yeah, is that uh, the right way to put it? Uh, I guess you, you said the stats say it, right? Uh, but I, I believe uh, when we play in Toronto, and especially at my home club, I tend to be very comfortable there and uh, got most of, our, most of my top high, sc high scores there. But uh, actually, I thought for myself, when I play outside of Canada, I do better. Mm -hmm. As uh, I have a few good scores uh, in Dubai and uh, also in Ireland. Mm -hmm. um, well, playing from uh, international cricket and coming back to Sri Lanka, playing in the local league, um, well, how do you find the competition in the local league in Sri Lanka? It's uh, much tougher. There's more people for trying to grab your spot. So stiffer comp internal competition, mm -hmm. as, uh, you might put it. Uh, that's the major difference here, I see. And the standard of cricket is obviously higher with uh, all the national players playing in there. Uh, it was a great experience for me. Mm -hmm. Well, if you just put in a few words, uh, what sort of... Uh, things that you lack in Canadian cricket uh, in comparison to Sri Lankan cricket? Uh, first, you'd start with this, uh, the school cricket system here. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, very tough competition here and, and the players are groomed from that level. Uh, unfortunately, in Canada, we, we are just in the brink of starting that, uh, that program mm -hmm. and it's not as strong as what you get here. Uh, that's that'll be the fr my first point and also the domestic cricket here is supported very well by the Sri Lanka Cricket Board. Whereas um, in Canada it's more as there's different leagues. However, we've, uh, we, we've al already got the solution for that as in we have a provincial uh, cricket tournament to uh, improve, improve the, the roots, if you put it. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Ravind, what I'm going to ask you next is going to be slightly tough. Uh, well, you are 100% like a Canadian international, you are representing your country, you are playing, but do you still have the passion to play for Sri Lanka? Uh, that's tough to say. I, I'm actually passionate about qualifying for the World Cup for Canada, but as a cricketer, uh, your dream is always to play test cricket, whether it be for Canada or anywhere in the world, uh, my dream would be to play test cricket. Mm -hmm. Well, you are very young. And uh, what is your plans? What are the plans that you have uh, once you complete your cricketing career? What are you going to do next? Uh, actually, uh, the next is actually current, as I have a good backup plan in the in the sense of I want to be a chartered accountant. Mm -hmm. So, in play, while playing for Canada, it, I can balance both. Mm -hmm. And um, after my cricketing career, I think that would be my ideal future to uh, to pursue in the field of accounting. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, like, and I guess you have to be really good with your numbers. Yeah, I tend and to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, Canada, in, in Canada, when you play cricket, I'm sure like you get uh, most, uh, you get more uh, time off uh, because your international schedules are uh, not like a full uh, test playing nation. So, how do you tend to keep yourself fit? Uh, it's more about um, taking pride in your own fitness and performance. You don't get as you don't get 20 to 30 ODIs a year of 10 test matches. We get about uh, four to eight ODIs a year. Mm -hmm. So it, you have to make it count. Uh, whether if you fail to perform in that in that little opportunity, then uh, you've achieved very little in that in that current year. So that's that's what uh, personally my, I'm inspired by that, and I tend to work hard to achieve my goals. Mm -hmm. Well, um, uh, while you play, um, do, you, uh, do you have any intention of coaching as well? Or do you have any liking towards coaching? Uh, at the moment, it's more about uh, myself improving as a, as a cricketer and seeing uh, what the avenues for my cricketing career is. Mm -hmm. uh, but w when I play the domestic cricket in Canada, I tend to give a bit of input for the junior guys and even for the senior guys who haven't reached um, the national, si national system to guide the team and also help those individuals achieve their goals and tell, teach them how certain players in the international level uh, do it. Well, since you're talking about the Canadian system, uh, how do you have the structure? I mean, if you look at Sri Lanka, you have the school structure, then from there, like you go to the under 23 or 19, from there, you go to the club full level, then you come to the uh, national level. So how, what is the system and the structure is like in Canada? The structure would be 
club cricket, on to provincial, and then on to the national team. Uh, the school system doesn't provide a lot of uh, talent to, per se, like the under 19 system, mm -hmm. but it's all based on the club cricket and how you find club cricket with the senior players. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Um, then also, well, I'm sure like you get like more free time. So, uh, do you have any interest towards any other sports apart from cricket? I actually played a bit of basketball even in Sri Lanka as well, mm -hmm. and uh, I tend to watch more than I play now. <laughs> as I'm busy more training with cricket, so it's harder to play two sports at once. Mm -hmm. Well, have you ever gone through or have you ever faced uh, major injuries? Uh, not yet, knock on wood. <laughs> oh, um, the ma major, most major injury would be uh, a fractured finger, but that only kept me out for about a month. Mm -hmm. um, well, if, if you look at uh, the system here and also in Canada, um, do you find it very easy to develop here because of the level of competitiveness and the, uh, the structures there? Or if not, you find it more easy there in Canada because the opportunity is very much there? Uh, I would say it's much easier for a cricketer to improve their game to a higher standard in Sri Lanka or any other test playing country as there's more people vying for your spot. They're trying to, so you have internal competition always gives an edge to players to perform better. Mm -hmm. So. I would say here, yeah, it's, it's much easier to uh, grow as a player. Mm -hmm. So do you travel a lot, apart from your cricket? Uh, for cricket reasons, I'm sure like you do travel when you go on tours, but apart from that, do you travel separately? Uh, I tend to, all my travel tends to be around my cricket, uh, whether I go play in a different country with the national team or on my, on my personal. Uh, but other than that, it, I tend to be stuck in, in Toronto, uh, busy with my university. Mm -hmm. Um, so when you travel, do you get your family also travelling along with you? Uh, at times, uh -huh. for special events such as the World Cup, uh, the past World Cup, they came along and uh, I actually played in the 19 World Cup in 2010 in New Zealand as well. They showed up for that as well. I love the support, you can have <laughs> yeah. it all the time. So do, do you still get tips from your dad? Yeah, I tend to. Actually, after every game he would, um, he would watch it and um, show me where I went wrong and also the, uh, my strengths. So it's always good to have. That's something nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, with that being said, we are going in for another commercial break. Once we are back, we'll be talking to Ravindra Gunasekhar more about his cricketing career. Hello there, welcome back. You're watching Game On with CSN. Well, today's special guest is Ravindu Gunasekhar, a Canadian international opening batsman. Well, we've been talking about Ravindu's career, the passion, the ambition that he has, and also the way he started his career at the younger age of 16. Well, young Ravindu, going about uh, talking about more on your uh, passion and ambition. Well, just tell us about uh, when it comes to international cricket, and uh, definitely like you know, it's a team game, uh, you, you, have, you prepare as a team, but as an individual, how do you prepare when it comes to big games? As you said, it's a, a team sport, but every, um, in cricket especially, you have to in, in, prepare individually. And it's all about uh, being mentally tough enough to uh, overcome any situa situation, as in, uh, in cricket. It's different pitches and different types of bowlers. So you might struggle with them, but uh, if you're tough, mentally tough to get through that stretch, it'll, uh, it'll only get easier. And um, for me, it's basically I, what I do is I prepare around my, my, my strengths. And I know I also have a good idea of what my weaknesses are. So I try to avoid uh, doing those and I concentrate. Concentration would be the well, on national television, would you like to share your weaknesses? <laughs> uh, those would be, yeah, those would be after the World Cup. <laughs> well, um, okay, if you look at a, a, a match day, uh, or maybe like you know, say a, a one day, with the game starts in the evening, so uh, what is your normal routine for a day? I mean, how do you start your day and how do you go about it? I generally prepare the night before. I, I pretty much um, visualize what, what's going to happen and um, think of scoring 100 every every night. Mm -hmm. So that's that would be preparation the night before. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's the wrong way to put it, like you know, scoring 100 every night, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll talk about, we're talking about cricket, yes. In cricket, you score 100 every night, yeah, crew. 
Uh, well, also, um, do you, do you follow any special diets or any any uh, special food items or any liquids that you take in? I'm actually uh, my physio and uh, dietitian are always uh, nutritionists are always after me about a diet, mm -hmm. but I t uh, tend to be as as a youngster and um, as a Sri Lankan, I tend to eat a lot of food. Uh, I, but I also burn that off at the gym, so you have to have a balance of your diet and also your training program. Mm -hmm. So that that will be the key. Mm -hmm. Well, um, suppose you say uh, you are young and we can see that coming in time in, in the future. Uh, one day, if you become the Canadian captain, uh, what would you say to a youngster who is walking into the team for the very first time? I would say that it's, uh, any sport is about confidence and more so about cricket. As if you know your game and you're confident in your ability, you will succeed more often. So I would say back your abilities and play, play the ball, not the bowler, if, if, it's, if, in, if mm -hmm. it's a batsman. Mm -hmm. And uh, also with the technology available nowadays, uh, unlike uh, 15 to 20 years back, and you find like in a lot of uh, stats you can get, then again uh, video uh, plays you can get. Uh, so how do you make use of those? It's an advantage and a disadvantage as well. Mm -hmm. So pretty much I get to see all the bowlers and uh, what they tend to do. However, they get to see me as well. Mm -hmm. So they would, they would focus on, on a weakness and uh, as a cricketer you always have to improve nowadays because people tend to figure you out uh, after a couple of games you played against them. Mm -hmm. Well, since you said like you know, there's enough and more video evidence, so are you strong in the off or are you strong in the leg? Uh, I would like to say the off, but I'm generally strong in, on the on the leg, leg side. Mm -hmm. uh, well, as a batsman, yes, you always like to score, but when it comes to uh, situations where you 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 have uh, lost quite a few wickets, where you have to be uh, on the crease and then support your team and get your team through, but you, you being an attacking batsman, how difficult it is.